Hi guys, Merkin Shapir with a tutorial on how to prank your friends with an unbelievable folder. Now this is very entertaining when, um, let's say, you go into your CMD or your command prompt. It could be on your friend's computer and it could even be on a school's computer as well. I'll teach you how to do the school one later because um, they have command prompt block. But what you would want to do is go onto your desktop. And when you launch the command prompt, it should already be in your users folder, so you just do CD desktop. And that should not exist. Oh, that does exist actually, because it's right there. But you just want to have it users, your username, and then desktop. What you want to do is MD, which stands for make directory, and do con, and then this slash. I don't know if it's a forward slash or backslash. It's people different. People have different opinions. But then once you press enter and then refresh your desktop this folder should pop up it would say that the folder is not accessible whatever and when you try to delete it it's even more depressing because it would say it just wouldn't drag in if you right click it delete it it just wouldn't do anything sometimes it would even say it's just not even there it just doesn't exist which could like aggravate some people I know it aggravated me for the first time in order to undo this you would do rd con and then the slash and that should go away you can also do many others because they're basically system folders it would be com1 you could do com2 you can do com3 you can do system in all caps and as before you can do the con so it can be become very depressing when you have a bunch of folders that you just can't delete. I don't know why that one deleted. I probably did that one incorrectly, but I believe you cannot delete these. Yep. So with Windows that you can't delete, you could delete the system one, but these sadly, oh, that is not what I had in mind. These are the depressing ones. And in order to do those, you just, again, you just remove the directories. You do MRD com1 slash rd com2 slash rd com th oh, com3 slash rd con slash and those will go away I can teach you how to make it in a bat folder as well folder file so you would go into notepad plus plus or either one that's depressing I forgot it's on my USB so I'll go into the regular notepad and once you go in there, you can do at echo off. Uh, you don't really need to mess with the colors because that really doesn't do anything. But then you can go into, let's say, CD desktop. Oops. And then you would do MD com with all caps and then one forward slash or backslash. Then you would do that that and that oh forgot them md see no 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 and then you would file save as whatever you want dot bat and basically once you run this exec executable it should make a few files on your desktop oh, it already exists so it means it's already here if let me see. Users, desktop. Oh, you know what I did? Nah, nah, nah. It's in my users folder. Watch, it should be there. Let me see. Ah, I see what I did wrong. I have a desktop folder, so it, it went in here. So basically, that, that really shouldn't happen. Yeah, it's depressing. See, there's a file name depression but basically if you just leave it like that it should create it automatically to the desktop and bam watch I'll show you here you can also take out the CD desktop part let me see if you hear zombies and stuff in the background that's Minecraft if you just do that and run it, it should make those and bam you got those undeletable folders.
in order to oh, in order to do it easily you can just do rd 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 bam you deleted those and for me since uh i put them accidentally in those folders i would do cd desktop save it and we should see it be removed from here when we oh when we do it bam there you go guys a very easy trick to make an undeletable folder in windows vista xp 7 any windows basically thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time